Hello my friends, welcome back to the StarCraft 2 challenge thingy dingies that I'm going to be doing a little bit more of today. I don't know if I'm going to complete it or if I'm going, you know what, let's just do it all. Why not? What is the worst that could possibly happen? This video goes on for a while. Well, I have an hour and a half before it has to be fully rendered and uploaded, so you know what? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh... Nukes. Okay, uh, so these ones, these are the tier two challenges, and I believe, if I remember correctly, they're all micro-based stuff. Like, you have to, you have to only use hotkeys? Is that how it works? I think so. Which, uh, does not bode well for me. Welcome, Commander. Let's just listen to see. Your objective in this exercise is to inflict maximum damage on the enemy with the limited forces at your disposal. Okay. The special abilities of your units will be key to achieving a high score. Use them wisely. Okay. Enemy forces are invulnerable until you indicate you are ready to begin by pressing the ready button. Okay. Good luck eliminating your opponent. Thank you. Alright, what do we got? So we have nukes, we have spooks, and we have the raven. We have to kill 175 enemies, and I do not know what our time is. But nukes are pretty good. Let's think about this. So, do do do. I feel like this area over here, uh, run the ghosts up, probably have them cloaked right at the beginning. We can just attack move through all of this. I'll drop some auto turrets over here maybe to take these out. Auto turrets don't do that much damage. A seeker missile would be really good here. And here, actually. And then maybe auto turret, auto turret, nuke. Blast our way through. Uh, make sure we nuke over here. Probably took one nuke, took through. Yeah, seems good to me. I'll figure it out. Uh, that way, that place could use a nuke too. Okay, so if we have one ghost go over here and nuke, one ghost go over here and nuke, that would be two out of seven. Then three, four, five, six, seven. And then this place just doesn't get a nuke. All right, let's do this. I still don't know how much time we have. Let so me set up some hotkeys. So you're going to be over there. You sure about that? And then State your request. let's give this a go. Come again. Out with it. Oh, I forgot how the speed is. Okay, so do 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 do. Uh, you attack up here and then cue the nuke. Oh, we have a lot of time here. You are going to attack over here, and then cue the nuke. These bad lads are going to head on forward, and then we can move these. Yeah, I guess we don't need the seeker missile, do we? This is fine. Uh, we'll drop one right here. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, one of those, one of those. Good old fashioned point defense drone. Blasting over here. Yeah, we want to take that down, and then we need to take this one down as well to get rid of that detection. And I think we're good to start painting the target with the nuke. Okay, actually, they cannot see right there. I feel like the music is really loud. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, that might be on my side. All right, keep going, keep going. Will do. Thanks, buddy. And then we're going to drop a nuke over here and okay. keep on going this way. Oh, hello. It. To it. Saved him. <laughs> Get wrecked. So low oh, okay, then we want to drop one on this side. It's this guy's cleared out over here. Oh, hello. Nope. Well, that was a waste of a nuke. Darn. Didn't quite... Oh my goodness, there's so many of these. Oh, the Overseers are everywhere. Alright, he's done his job. I think I'm relying too much on nukes and not enough on the uh, auto turrets. But this is alright. Drop, please. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not dropping a nuke, sir. And then we plant one juicy one right there, I think. 
I think this guy is safe, so we're just going to move on with some of these auto turrets. I feel like the auto turret is the name of the game for the rest of this because they have more damage potential than the other abilities. Yeah, a little bit right here. What are these? I feel like the sound is weird. Is that normal? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, it's because I have a slider and for some reason when I was sliding it, it wasn't sliding the volume. It was, I'm pretty sure that's all on my end then. All right, we're over 200. Uh, do we have ghosts? I got a couple ghosts. Let's see if we can bring them over here to get a little bit more done. Yeah, get them. Can we get the legendary 230? The dentist's favorite time, 230. <laughs> uh, oh, we got it. Oh, broodlings. Brilliant. Whoever would have thought of the brood. Oh, come over here, please. Sir? Ma'am? Banling? 240, 245. Oh, we got the 245. Not bad. For a first try, I am not unhappy with that. All right. The playing StarCraft in slow motion is weird. It's so different. Everything everything feels different than what it's supposed to be. Let's give a Psionics Assault a, a go. I should be better at the Protoss, but I don't know what the... Ma oh, wait. No, I don't want to do this one. I remember this one. This one takes like 45 minutes. It's, uh, it's too much. It's like, hey, do you know how to use force field? This is the one challenge that I don't want to do. I apologize. It's, uh, it's boring. We're going to do this one instead. It's literally just, can you force field ramps forever? <laughs> Let's do this. You must destroy as many enemies as possible with it. Okay. All right. So we got some burrowed guys and we got some burrowed guys. Give it a go. I didn't really check the enemies out. I probably should have. Let's just get these guys go over here. These guys come up here. Oh, everything is really... No, nah, it's just the roaches that are slow. The investors are actually quite fast. Yeah, a couple over there. Beautiful. Oh, hello, Colossus. How are you doing? Does look like a fungal sword a day. And we just gotta plop that over there. Oh, yeah, okay, that was a lot of losses. I was not respecting... Not respecting the anything, really. <laughs> I'm just... I really should have looked. I got very eager. Take those guys down, and the roaches are going to be able to do so much damage. I think I want to knurl that High Templar and send him somewhere. And then, I don't really have a way to deal with uh, this Colossus, so I'm just going to just gonna let it go. Can you shift Q a burrow? I tried that right there. We'll see what happens when it wears off. That'd be really cool if you could. Oh. Does Neural last forever? What? Okay, Neural lasts forever. What? <laughs> this is this is different. Oh no, I was supposed to I was supposed to neural him. Well, we can neural this guy. Blast him. Uh that guy's just gonna run out of range though, so whatever. You can go this way. You're doing your own thing. Come on over here. Let's nail these guys, and then that'll open up the way to neural this guy. We just gotta be a little bit careful with the way that we want to approach it. I still don't have that many kills because I didn't quite... I didn't know that neural was eternal, because, like, what version of the game has permanent neural parasite? That's wild. Yeah, let's bring this guy up here. We can get up to 150. We're doing great. No, I guess we gotta bop that. Oh, just come this way. Tanks doing tank things. I'm <laughs> trying to open this up. You know what, Roaches? You can you can help our ombre over here. 
Oh, hello. Thank you, Doom Vice. Come on and help your friends. There can't be that many more enemies to kill. There's a lot of buildings. That's the thing. I would rather kill not buildings. Dude. Bruh. Alright, we got spotting. <laughs> Boop. Oh, he's free. Not for long. No, don't kill him! We need him! You don't kill him either. Move this guy on over as well, and let's get into this mineral line and start eating it for dinner. Yummy, yummy. I've got minerals in my tummy. Oh, you're doing good, and you are really just useless, and I can't really move you. Whatever, you'll you'll kill what you can. I believe. 47, 48. 40, 48. 49, 50. There we go. This one was not pretty, but it did work out. Let me just sneak this a little bit over here to help. There we go. It's weird that you can't, like, pull the people either. We're gonna pop this guy out of range. Oh, I should've just... I should've walked him more. For some reason in my head, I was like, if I... If I hit him with a move command, and then I release him, he'll move over there. He's not mine. <laughs> it's just... You can tell how weird this version is. I think we got basically every unit, right? I mean, there's, like, these guys. And then, they're about to die. We can blast like this. And then we can drop some Infested Terrans, and take this one out as well. Target fire. I think that's basically every Terran enemy. Oh no! Oh, I missed like six of them. Well, I mean, I got 186 out of 150. That's not too bad. Let's keep going. Let's finish the rest of these off. Uh, what do we have? The Hamburger of Death. Okay. You guys ready for hamburgers? Expert challenge. We're, we're experts now. We're not StarCraft Masters yet, but we are experts. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Alright, I'll figure it out. Oh, we got a lot of money this time. So there's just a bunch of little groups of guys. Look at all these Reapers. So we have... We have carriers. We are ready. I don't know the hotkey to autocast interceptors. Maybe it's like Alt-I? We'll try that. And then we got Blink Stalkers. I feel like sending one carrier down here will just clear through everything. I don't know how much time I have, but one carrier seems really good. And then we could send the rest of the carriers with the stalkers this way up and around. That'd be a lot of firepower. We got warp ins here. And we have every unit available, which makes me think that I want the stalker. I feel like stalkers would be really good over here too, just to help out. And then this is like Phoenix land. Fascinating. So, let's get some stalkers on this side to begin with. We'll have these stalkers move up over here. One carrier comes down and kills these. Blitz through this. T uh, we chain blink over here with shift Q and then bring the stuff over. Get a prism to come over here and meet with the boys. And then we'll push through all of this with the stalkers as well. And hopefully, we can burn a bunch of storms over here really quickly. Morph some archons and just kind of A move. All right, so you guys are going to be control group three. You guys are going to be control group four. You and you are control group one, and you are control group two. So first things first. We want to make stalkers over here. You are going to make your interceptors and start fighting this way. And then everybody come on over here. Lots of interceptors. We can blink on over. 
start the fight. These guys are going to blink over here. Phoenixes are going to run up and just lift these and start the fight. Hopefully this is going well. Looks like it is. And then we can grab these guys and these guys to get some storms off. Okay, keep it going. You're doing great, sir. And then we want to move you on over here. Uh, I didn't want to get this many guys over here, but I guess that's what I'm doing. Attack, attack. Blink. We only have a minute 33 remaining. Let's go. Let's go. They're all gone. You're doing fantastic, sir. Let's, uh, deploy this warp prism. Oh, Ultralisk, sir. I'm going to grab you guys, attack over here and over here. You meet up with your buddy. Oh, I didn't deal with a lot of the stuff over there, too. That was a mistake. You start pushing. I think I really made the mistake when I warped in the guys on this southern side. There just was not enough of a threat on it. I misread over there. Kind of waiting on this side, taking what down what I can with the carriers. This carrier's doing his own thing. Have a blink over here, and then let's see what we can take down over here. We don't have a whole lot of time, we don't have a whole lot of resources, but we're doing what we can. Uh, phoenixes need to lift and lift, and then come over here and take down what we can. I think everybody on this side is dead, right? Eight, seven, six. Oh, I forgot to warp in. Two hundred and seventeen. I think that there were only like not that many guys left. Honestly, pretty happy with that for a first attempt to easy gold. I think that if I hadn't done that stalker warp in in the bottom left, which was just incorrect blatantly, and I knew it as I was doing it, I would have been able to get everything. That was pretty fun. All right, let's move on to opening Gambit. Build up a strong economy and a large army while fighting off enemies' early attacks. Optimize your build order to get the best time possible. All right. Need to expand early for gold or silver rating. Be sure to protect your expansion from the enemy. Welcome back, Commander. Thank you. What's going on? Go ahead. Oh, this is like actual macro. We need 30 Marines, 8 Siege Tanks, that's a lot of tanks, 8 Ghosts, and we have to do it, oh no. So this could take like 15 minutes, but we are going to get attacked, right? That's good. I do like being attacked. Do we go CC first? I mean, why not, right? Like, what are the odds that they're going to hit with something that is able to bust a CC first? If I put command center, like, go depot here, command center here, then get the barracks. That should be a really economical play. And I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. We need a lot of gas. Look at this. Eight siege tanks, eight ghosts. So getting this expansion and the money up quickly is going to be really, really important. I kind of feel like the correct answer here is get all the marines first. Because marines, right? You get a couple bunkers, why not? We'll be able to salvage the bunkers later if we need to. Also, we'll have mules, which are good. Oh, maybe we don't want to go command center for... Oh, gosh. I really wish I could speed this up. Maybe we don't want to go command center first because the mule is a thing. I don't actually know the math on it. But I think that a gasless expand is absolutely within the cards here. Uh, hmm. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. Yeah, like, think of it. Mule. Uh-huh. 
So we'll start making Marines one at a time out of the barracks. How long does a Marine take to build? Is it like 18 seconds? For some reason, I feel like the answer is 18 seconds. And if we have one barracks building Marines the entire time, 30 Marines, that'd be 180 seconds for 10 Marines. So that'd be nine minutes for a full 30 Marines out of one barracks. They have to take longer than 18 seconds. There's no way that's the case. 30 Marines out of one non-reactored barracks in nine minutes? No, no. I've got my number wrong. I don't know what the correct number is, but mine is definitely not it. <laughs> we will see when the barracks finishes up. Uh, it'll be fun when they attack me. This is what StarCraft kind of felt like in the old days, when you just had the six worker start, you know? It was kind of miserable. Like, I actually liked it in a lot of ways. Okay, what do we got? 25 seconds. That is a lot more. So that's 200, 750 seconds, 10 minutes, and... Yeah, no. <laughs> We're going to need a reactor at some point. I still think that just doing that math in my head, one reactor to Rax is enough to make all 30 of these Marines. And it won't really be that bad. Uh oh. I uh, hope I can finish my wall. Hope that it's only Zerglings. Oh, I'm not sure if this walls. Actually, I'm like pretty sure that it doesn't because command centers are always weird. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, it totally doesn't. <laughs> they, uh, they have sloped corners. The command center does. And that means that uh, small things can get through them. All right, we lost one SCV. That's not the end of the world. <laughs> what a bad start. And I'm supply blocked. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. I can't believe. <laughs> Just let them through. That's so bad. Oh uh, well, you know we just wanted a little bit of action. Things were going a bit slow, so <laughs> see how it goes. I will say that micro is really fun when you're playing in this low speed. I think that if there were a lot of these macro style challenges, it would be pretty rough. But just when you're making uh units to control and then you get to spend a lot of time controlling those units, it feels nice. Like, I liked that fight right there, it was fun. And it's it's obviously too slow, right? Like, I wouldn't want a competitive game at this speed. But I do think that StarCraft, like, people complain that Stormgate is too slow, but you're gonna see pros do insane things in Stormgate because of its speed. If the, if the unit movement is a little bit slower, because it's not like people are going to sit around with excess APM and just not use it. It's going to be used to get fancier and fancier and fancier in really awesome ways. And I'm excited for it. Like, legitimately very excited for it. Because think of, like, Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3 is the micro game, right? And... There's been a lot of time for the meta to develop since Warcraft 3 was the big dog. A lot of time for people to improve. They're way better than they used to be, right? The average player is. Partially because resources are just available now. Uh, halt. Oh, you don't want to be over there, sir. Uh, 13 is probably good. We can just repair this up and finish that. And we probably need a tech lab. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I'm really far behind. I am. I don't have that much time remaining. I probably need another factory making siege tanks. Because remember, we can lose these units. And if we lose these units, we lose our progress, which would be really embarrassing. Wouldn't it be funny if they like came in with mutas or something? Just start ripping and tearing through your mineral line. That would be amazing. I would give like three thumbs up to this. 
I would be so happy with it that I would nuke my own mineral line, and that's why I'd have three thumbs to give up. How much does a ghost cost in this version of the game? 150, 152, okay. The ghost is one of those units, they had a while that, uh, the cost of the ghost was really in flux. Like, I believe that at one point it cost 100 minerals, 200 gas, and then it, or I think it started at 200 minerals and 100 gas, or maybe it flip-flopped. I don't really remember, but there was this whole big discussion around it, and when it cost a bunch of gas, it was super overpowered, because infantry were already mineral heavy, so you just had this excess gas, and as a result, it made massing ghosts the easiest thing in the world. I'll say, you get supply blocked in this, and it feels terrible. It lasts so long. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get tanks on the ridge, of course. You could put the tanks behind the supply depots, but I'm going to say this as a definitive fact about life. Tanks on a ridge are cooler. Doesn't matter if they're better. Doesn't matter if they're worse. It matters if they're neat. Oh, gosh, siege mode. What? I'm not getting siege mode. <laughs> we've got we've got tanks on the ridge. We don't need siege mode. <laughs> I forgot about siege mode. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade that no one has gotten in like 10 years. Because you don't have to get it in the campaign either. It was just a multiplayer thing. That's a wild one. That was so long ago. I think that... Was that Legacy of the Void? Like, when Legacy of the Void came out, that Siege Mode as a research got removed? I feel like that's the case. Basically, back when the universe was young. Amazing. Alright, we're doing well in the tank department. The non-siege tank department. I don't think I need these guys up here anymore. I need more minerals. I don't know if Depot Dave needs his brother anymore. I was saying that Depot Dave's gonna, like, kill his brother or something. Just let his brother retire. Okay, so we gotta put the tanks behind because there's mutas and they're scary. And these marines have to stay in the back because I'm not building a medevac. Even if I have the ability to, which I'm not sure that I do know. <laughs> Alright, so how am I doing? I got 14 marines, no ghosts. Oh, the no ghost is really sketch, isn't it? Maybe if I get, like, four racks for the end, it'll work out? I hope so. We're gonna have a lot of minerals to work with, and we can just start blitzing them out. I'd be interested to see how fast people could do this one. Like, obviously, I I cannot do this multiple times. <laughs> it's, it's a little too painful for me, the speed. But I think that some people that just, like, decided they wanted to sit down and get really good at this, I'm actually going to start dropping depots, I think. Just because it's more instant power, and I don't need the minerals, I don't think. Oh, Ghost Academy. Uh oh Big job. Okay, that is six, seven, eight. Up, and we got the tech lab. We're really lacking on marines, too. Okay, maybe I do need to drop mules. I just missed with a mule. Go ahead. Hmm. I thought that the constant marine production would be correct, but... Yeah, it's just... It's been... Roger. Far too slow. All right, that's enough tanks. We got the Ghost Academy on the way. I need to make sure I don't lose any of these tanks, of course. That would be embarrassing. And then I need one more depot, I think. Start ghost production out of the tech labs. As I said before, these Marines just chill in the back. And I think at this point, it's just ghost and marine production for the rest of time. Ah. Uh, let's go see if we can get a tech lab over here for this guy. 
just save him a little bit of time. I should have put this rack. I uh, the first guy that I tried to put down and failed at putting down. I tried to. Whoa, that's too many tanks. That's nine tanks. That's less than eight, or more than eight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, wow. All right, we're good. <laughs> they sure were not chill about that one, were they? So the real question is, can I beat this mission before the next attack wave comes? Don't know. Because I'm not rebuilding those. I'm taking the risk. Checking it twice. How many ghosts is this? This is one, two, three. Then I think I have four more under production, so I need one more ghost and one more marine. This guy's never gonna get to produce anything. Uh, you know what? He's gonna produce a ghost, and we're gonna have some marines under production too, just so in case, uh, in case an attack comes. Oh, we can't scan. I wanted to go see if they had an army, but I don't want to spend anything. So it looks like we are going to, with a decent bit of a buffer, be able to finish this off. A uh, very, very bad build order by me. Yeah, not finishing the wall properly it was definitely a bit of an amateur mistake. Oh, I thought that was Ghost. Uh, you're a Ghost. There we go. Not beautiful. That was definitely my weakest performance. You can tell that uh, Terran is the race that I am the least comfortable with when we do stuff like that. And then finally is rush defense. Fight off early rushes that Ter Zerg and Protoss players can bring against you in multiplayer. Let's give it a go. I don't remember. Are they going to like cannon rush me? Because that would be awesome. Good afternoon. You know what? Just surprise me. Let's do this. Let's see what they bring. Because that would be so funny if they cannon rush me. Zergling rush in 50 seconds. Oh, we're getting six pulled. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, that is so good. Uh, beautiful StarCraft. Beautiful. This is what I'm looking for. I mean, the fact that I know that it's coming. This is this is a map. This is uh Desert Oasis? Is that no 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 Desert Oasis is not this. Uh oh, what is this map? It's the one that has rocks right here. Wait, what? Where's the rocks? <laughs> there's there's usually destructible rocks over here. <laughs> I'm not sure that I know this map. Alright, we're gonna pop over here. The fact that we know that it's coming means that it uh, should not be very hard to defend. 22 Zerglings remaining! <laughs> Alright. Now in early Wings of Liberty, there is a secret unit that is more powerful than anything else in the universe, and that is the Marauder. So my goal is to get one. Uh-oh. Are we gonna lose the RNG battle? Hey, this guy's safe, and so oh, look at this! Amazing. No! Okay, well, enjoy your death. Where are you going, guys? I guess we just repair. Uh, we probably need another repair man, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this gas geyser first because I want marauders. I feel like whatever they're gonna hit me with concussive shell is gonna be able to out control it, so that seems like a decent enough plan. And we probably only need one gas geyser for that too. It's funny how much easier dealing with zergling rushes is when you're playing as Terran. If you have ever played against a 12 pool as Protoss, you know how miserable it is. It's, for some reason, a macro build that can just kill you if you mess up your zealot positioning. It's awesome. Uh, it's definitely not quite that painful if you're playing Terran. I can't believe I lost a unit, though. That's embarrassing. Not even able to do it deathless. Yeah, so uh, on this map in 
1v1. Here. This was a map that, like, used to be in GSL. By the way, this is, like, about a third of the way to the enemy base. It was really small. Blistering Sands. That's what it's called. Blistering Sands. Uh, the rocks over here meant that as soon as the cheese failed over here, they just bust down the rocks and you had to somehow defend both sides. It was a magical experience. All right, Marauder time. We're going to get Marauder. It's over here. Oh, here they come, Jimmy. What are we going to do? Hey, we can go three racks. Three racks is the game remove. We got enough Marines. Oh, we could get Nitro Pack Reapers? No, dude. Okay. Uh, I have changed my strategy. We're getting Nitro Pack Reapers. Oh, we're done. Or is this just wave one of three? Okay. Good afternoon, Commander. In this exercise, you must defend all of your structures against a variety of enemy attacks. In order to succeed, you will need to use your SCVs to repair your structures and to fight back against the aggressors. Okay. We're gonna go Nitro Pack Reapers. I don't care if it's good or not. Let's do this. Uh, this might have been very early to get these gas geysers. <laughs> yeah, I saw the little thing. And <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I'm going to have a barracks over here. Just instantly grabbed them and then it clicked in my head. I don't have that yet. <laughs> it's okay. Nitro Reapers coming for you. They're going to go pew, pew, pew. That's the Nitro Reaper song. Do we want to cancel one of these? Yeah, I think we gotta cancel one of them. What a build order. It's so good. I think I'm losing my sanity as I'm playing this slow motion version. That is a very close to being done thing because I was supposed to start my barracks a long time ago. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna have to fight with our SCVs against the first one. And I'm not upset about that. I have no regrets in life at all. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> like, straight up gonna die. Oh no, because I've committed to the tech lab too. It takes a tech lab to build a Reaper in Wings of Liberty, and I refuse to build Marines. I want to hold the Zealot Rush without Marines. <laughs> Oh, the gamer move is to rush a planetary. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Is he just gonna... Alright. You do you, sir. I will allow you to do this for a while. I hope they don't go for stalkers. They probably have to build a cybernetics core in order to make stalkers, right? And... That's a lot of tech. I'm not sure that they can do that. How fast is the Reaper with Nitro Packs, anyway? So Nitro Packs Reapers were, like, one of the first broken things in StarCraft II. Uh, the Nitro Packs upgrade got, like... It used to be really fast to upgrade, and then... That got nerfed to a long time, and then after that... No, it got nerfed to requiring a factory. That was it. Because it was so flippin' quick. This is a terrible build, by the way. Like, if you want to do this, just put a bunker right here, and then there's this little slot the Zelts will try to walk in, and then you just repair on the other side. I'm like 100% sure that that's the correct answer. What's going on? That is a lot of Zealots. This is not a fast strategy. Okay. I really hope they all come after this guy. Damage is good, though. Yeah, yeah remember that Reapers do uh, 18 damage? All right. I'm going. I'm going. Do we don't have Nitro Packs, so I do have to be a bit careful with my movements. But I think I just kite them forever. Certainly. Yes. Certainly. And once Nitro Packs are finished, it's going to actually be stupid. This is... <laughs> this should not be as fun as it is. I'm actually really enjoying this. Remember that these don't heal. So 
So any damage is permanent. However, our DPS just doubled. So we just have to be clear of this guy. I think I'm going to lose a Reaper. Oh, never mind. Look at how much faster we are now. This is stupid. Blast him. Easy peasy. Yeah, this is back when the Reaper was not a scout unit. It was a murder unit. It was originally built as a raider, and you can feel it when you shoot things. Like, nowadays, they're kind of a meme with their gun. It's really, really low damage. You might kill a drone eventually. But Nitro Pax Reapers, man. They literally were able to beat roaches. Uh, Morrow versus Hydra in the first MLG. Good times. Yeah, let's take these nerds down. And remember, we have the anti-structure attack, so as soon as we get over there, they're in for a bad day. I want to see the MVP who can tech to battle cruisers on this mission without without any other defenses just like a good defensive setup with repairs a defensive sim city i mean that would be the coolest thing ever i would be so impressed if you can do that i'll give you a shout out in a video at some point if someone can figure that one out that's beautiful no combat units no uh Really anything. Oh, hello. No planetary fortress, of course. Oh, yeah, these are powered on the low ground because StarCraft used to be a medieval game where pylons gave power up high ground for whatever reason. That got removed eventually because uh, warp gate rushes were insane. All right, there we go. I mean, if that guy's gonna come upstairs, then it's fine. Let's finish this off, pull the boys. We don't need boys where we're going. Uh, you can take this guy down. Three shots to kill. <laughs> to kill a probe. It just, it hurts, man. Now it's like seven or something. It's ridiculous. You kind of have to be asleep at the wheel to lose a probe to a reaper. Nailed it. Please cannon rush me next. Oh, that's the end of it. Unfortunate. What were the... What were the ranks? What is gold rank? Score the rank of gold. How do I... What was the... What was the threshold? I don't know. Wait, why does it say 1822? What? This is my account. I didn't play this in 2020. <laughs> I played this in like 2010. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> I have no idea. My friends, that is the rest of all of the challenges for StarCraft 2. Um, I lost more than I should have. I definitely think I could optimize that Protoss one a bit more, the micro one. I think I could get everything maybe on my next try. That's uh, it's a really cool one. Uh, this is this is funny. Honestly, all these are just a little bit of a meme, but I I wanted to give them a go, and I had a good time. I hope you did too. I know it's a little bit different, but that is what it is. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.